What's up guys, today we're gonna to play my current favorite board game, which is Mansions of the Madness 2nd Edition. So Sam and Nico have played this game before, but Brandon has never played. So uh, if you've never played, you don't know the rules, you can learn the rules through Brandon's experience. Each of us are playing investigators who are investigating a certain mystery, and it's all Lovecraftian themed. And what's super cool is there is a companion app on the iPad that kind of DMs and runs the entire game for us. So we get to focus on having fun and playing all together. Yeah, if you've liked our D&D videos and you're looking to get into us, I mean, this is my first time playing, but it sounds like this is a good like entry point into like that world of games. Yeah. When we're playing the game, we have health points, but we also have insanity points. And the goal of this game is to complete the mission, solve the mysteries, all without either dying or losing our sanity. Unlike the physical health where you die, when you lose your sanity, whoever becomes crazy gains a new objective that changes the win condition of the game for them. It's very dark and dreary and ominous. So, it's a perfect representation of an HP Lovecraft story. I'm playing as William York, the Gravedigger. I've got, I start out with seven health and seven insanity points. Cool. Special ability is whenever a monster is defeated, I gain one clue. And what's your backstory? Oh, literally on the back of the card. <laughs> That's right, I never wanted to be a Gravedigger. I had wanted to be an actor, of course and worked for years in Boston, taking whatever parts were available. Shakespeare was the best stuff, of course, and William's focus wasn't Shakespeare acting. But after many years and hardly any roles, I was forced to admit the stage was not for me. Yeah, that's why I'm holding the Skull Hamlet style, because I think of like what could have been, right? And that's not me, so I'm a grave digger. I mean, this is, I don't tell people this very often. But when I'm in the graveyard alone, and there's like just a fresh corpse in there, I put on a little show for him. I just, I bust out a little bit of the old Shakespeare for him. Ooh, wow. So, Pick their little skull up. And... Pretty cool guy. Pretty cool guy. <laughs> pretty <laughs> not good weird at guy. Really good at parties. <laughs> yeah. Sweet. Well, I'm, I'm playing as Rita Young, athlete. I get to move in additional space as part of my turns. That's so I'm extra fast. Rita was always good at, at running. Growing up in the South, she was well acquainted with discrimination and knowing when to make herself scarce. Ooh. I don't care. She's white, though. Okay. Uh, whatever. She's, she's just really white. When scared. she came to Arkham to attend Miskatonic University on a truck, on a, you know, on a track and field scholarship. <laughs> on a truck? <laughs> <laughs> she attended it on a track and field scholarship. Uh, she found things had not changed much, as, as much as she hoped. The creepy people chasing after her wore black robes. Not white, but Rita ran all the same. Ah, there we go. But I'm really confused. She's totally She's just white, very white light people, skinned. White people aren't afraid of people in white robes. Uh, she's like half. Oh she's wait, 50, I think 50. she's supposed to literally be half. 50, she's, 50. she's half and half, she's half and half. When a roommate was attacked <laughs> in the night while wearing Rita's jacket, Rita decided to do something about it. She started looking into the matter and found that the mysterious assailants were not part of the Ku Klux Klan, as she assumed. But now Rita, Rita eagerly pursues any chance to investigate the unknown and hidden cults that flourish right under the noses of the authorities. She is done running. Damn. Except on her turn, Except. then she'll do six spaces. <laughs> <laughs> then she'll double run. Yeah. You can tell us a bit about yourself. Um, yeah, tell me a little bit about you. I'm Agatha Crane. I'm a parapsychologist. Apparently, according to the back of my card, I believe that everything superstitious and paranormal can be dealt with with reason and explained using science. Oh, you're in, you're in for it, man. But for some reason, rather than like, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> pretty much. <laughs> well, about to have that proved wrong very shortly. Uh, but I, for some reason, I decide to express that belief by hunting down paranormal things. I've made up the word parapsychology in order to make my job sound legitimate to other academics. Um, my husband is really stressed out all the time because I'm constantly going to really dangerous parts of the world and dealing with unsavory people. Mm -hmm. And apparently only I know why I'm so driven to study the parapsychological. Why? Mm. Why is that, I, Agatha? Uh, why is that? Because I'm... Um, because no one understands me, so I need to like, <laughs> express myself. You're just an old lady, just, <laughs> nobody understands me! <laughs> my ability is that if I succeed a horror check, I will get a clue. It's a good one, because you have really strong brain. <laughs> Strongest brain. Strong. You're... So my character is Jenny Barnes. Jenny Barnes has spent the majority of her young life in pursuit of creature comforts, fine dining, and the latest fashions. She's, so she's balling. But during her most recent summer in Paris, she receives a letter from her sister, Isabel. In this letter, Isabel confessed that mysterious forces are aligning against her and that she feared that she may fall victim to some paranormal threat. It was the last letter Jenny ever received from her beloved sister. Never saw her again. 
Jenny has since returned to the States to track down and investigate all occult occurrences she can find. Hard, hardly a wilting flower. She has proven herself a crack shot. She's literally holding dual pistols. Um, as well as a fearless and clever investigator of the unknown, until Isabel's disappearance is explained, Jenny will never relent in her search, and she will do so impeccably dressed. Uh, she is great because her stat line is really solid, she has great health, and her action is, if you have no clues, gain two clues and discard one orb. Here in 2017, I'm like, at least she received a letter from her sister, right? Like, no, it's like, you gotta, you'd be like, oh, that's the last text I ever got. <laughs> yeah. It doesn't seem as impactful. We're gonna do Escape from Innsmouth. Rita Young, and uh, we, oh, Yorick's right here. And then we have uh, Agatha Crane. Here we go. Gain starting items. Hell yeah. <laughs> yeah. If you guys look, you can see all the items we have. We can distribute these however we would like right now. So this is what we start off with. So if you look up there, there's a wither spell. Whoever is probably the smartest should take that. Uh, which is probably you. Yeah, I'll take it. Yeah, go for it. I feel like it. I should take the two by four. As a grave digger, I probably could do the most with it. Sure, go for it. And so then I'll take the two by four. I'll take a knife. Yeah, go for the knife. Uh, holy water, discard one horror and become focused, then discard this card. If you're on the same space as somebody, you can just like use an action to trade them. So I'll take this. Uh, I can hold the old journal. It's just a piece of evidence. Uh, lucky rabbit's foot. Once per round, you may re-roll one dice. Man, that's a good card. Who's going to... I have the ability checks. to change clues. Somebody else should grab that. Okay, so one of you guys should take this because this will let you have a reroll. Whoever. I'll take that. Sure. Yeah, you take that. Um, and then oil lamp. Oh, I shouldn't take that because I, 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 I'll be running around. Someone else needs the oil lamp probably. I'm going to hang back probably a little bit. Okay, you can take I mean, that. I can give you the lucky. Okay. Yeah. On each of our turns, we're going to have two actions. The actions include moving, which allows you to move up to two spaces. Attacking, searching, interacting with anything. Any of those take one action. We have stats on the side of the card, similar to D&D, like strength, agility. These are gonna be used for uh, tests and attribute tests we're gonna take, whether we fight or do anything. It's really simple, super self-explanatory. You guys are gonna get it real quick. A strange feeling crawls across your skin as you step off the bus into the small Massachusetts town of Innsmouth. Everywhere you go, you can feel the gaze of the locals' unblinking, watery eyes on your back. In every alleyway, on every street corner, you can feel the presence of the stooped, pallid residents following you, watching from a distance. You came to the coastal town at the behest of Professor Harris, a mutual friend who asked you to gather information on the lineage of the Marsh family. However, after only half a day walking the streets of Innsmouth, all you can think about is leaving the town and its unnerving residents far behind you. You check both the bus and the train, but strangely, both have stopped running. As the sun begins to set, you come to a frightening realization. You are trapped in Innsmouth. You rent an hotel room under a false name and resolve to hole up until morning. With the door to your room securely latched, you're finally safe from the prying eyes of the locals. Or so you think. All right. So we're all holed up in we're a hotel hold. room. Yeah. And that's this room right here. Yes, yeah, so we're in a hotel room. So, yeah, so we came to this place to investigate the Marsh family. Shit is awry and uh, things are real creepy, so we're all just waiting till morning to try to get out of here, so we have to survive the night. Outside the hotel, the street stretches up the hill towards the center of town. The street continues to the east, past the storefront, so this storefront over there. To the west, the street narrows into an alley that stretches along the side of the hotel. Dim light fills the tiny hotel's interior hall. The hotel has only two rooms for rent. Three other doors lead out of the hall. One door leads to a side alley, and the other two are marked one and two. You check your room key, you'll be staying in room one. Place explore, explore tokens as indicated. You cram into your room and find it furnished by a lone bed with threadbare sheets and a bookshelf that holds two yellowing tomes. Letting the situation sink in, you pace nervously around the confines of the small room. Moonlight spills in through a dingy window looking out towards the docks. Place search token is indicated. I'm sleeping. 
You yeah, sleeping at a time like this? I'm trying to like how, how can you sleep? Bones. How can you sleep? How can you I can't tell if they're gonna murder us. How sleep. can you sleep at a time like this? <laughs> my aching back is getting to me, so oh, I need to oh, chill I, out. All right, all right. I need some brain sleep, guys, so I can think sharp. Everyone in the room jumps as you hear the sound of the door handle jiggling. Oh. Someone outside is trying to open the locked door. Place an explore token as indicated. Oh man. Okay. It's happening right now. Your eyes dart around the room, stopping at the only other door which leads to the back hall and bathroom of the hotel. Place an explore token as indicated. Alright. We've got two exits. Somebody's jiggling the handle right well, now. Well that's the, the Yeah, I mean I'm gonna That's the bathroom that. door. And Someone, this is the only exit. This is the door, this is the one that was being jiggled. Yes. Yeah, and gonna, then there's a window. So yeah, I'm gonna get up. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna check out the door that's being jiggled right away. I mean, gonna... Brandon, if you open that door right now, it's the only thing that's potentially standing between us and a bunch of angry locals. Hold on, is there a peephole in this door? I, I don't know, no. we can check it. Here, you can check it. So Brandon's gonna go first. You wanna yeah. check the door? Yeah, I'm gonna check if there's okay. a peephole. Normally in our rooms, there's like a... You put your ear to the door, you can hear the raspy breathing of someone on the other side trying to open the lock. So your options are on the screen. Ask who it is, ask who it is. Yeah, but they obviously know we're in here. They, well, I mean, uh, who do you think, it, you know who, they're not gonna tell us who it is. Like, they already know we're here. Might as well ask them. Ask them what? I mean, I'm looking back at you guys. Be confident. Well, you're gonna Approach ask them, them something? Look them in the eye and stand up for yourself. You Look them in the eye and stand Everything up for yourself. Everything has a reasonable explanation. It could just be <laughs> the main. Ask, no, do not open the door, ask who it is. Yeah. Okay, you're gonna ask who it is. All right, who's there? The rattling stops, and there's a long pause. Then a gurgling voice responds, Outsiders, surrender to us. I surrender. Barricade the door. Barricade the, <laughs> barricade the door. door. We can uh, surrender, but keep the door locked. OK, I will. I'm, I'm down for barricade. Let's do it. Yeah, do, no, oh, bar I, I'd be able to before. Let's put that barricade on. Looking yeah. around the room, your eyes fall right. on the small bookshelf. You pick it up and slam it against the door. Discard their explorer token and place a barricade against the door as indicated. All right. All right, good moves. Good nice. moves, good moves. Okay, that's Check that window. Okay. While wait, the wait. rattling stops and you hear a gurgling voice from the other side of the room, you will never escape, give up now. A moment later, a local begins banging on the door, attempting to break through. Spawn a Deep One hybrid, as indicated. <laughs> then the Deep One hybrid attempts to move one space into the small bedroom. What? So he's gonna attempt to break into the room. He has a two strength, so he needs both successes. Fails. So you. Boom, hits his shoulder against the door, and the door, the bookshelf holds. Damn. Whew. I know, what's going on? <laughs> this is, we're just like in it. What a game. Yeah. I need to, yeah, I need to figure out this Marsh family situation. Yeah, I don't have time to figure out who the Marsh family is <laughs> anymore. The She's standing there, like, journal. stretching, like, what about the Marsh family? Well, I, 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 I just Whoa. forget. Whoa. Where, that's what we have right now? He's trying, <laughs> yeah, he's, he's trying to break in. He's a brain dead, like, hypnotized local. So I was like, I have one more action. I don't, I'm not quite clear on what I possibly so can on your do actions, right now. You can either move, attack, you can search or interact with any of these. It's not D and D. Items. You can't just like, you like, you can't just like do anything. You can't make the bed. Yeah, yeah. But the door is, but the door is <laughs> closed. I'll let you make the bed. The door's closed still, right? <laughs> yes. The door is barricaded. closed. It's barricaded, and, barricaded. and he's gonna try to break through. Obviously. He's probably not alone. We're literally the entire town wants us dead, pretty much. We should have charged more so, than two dollars yeah. and eighty-five cents yes, each. Yes, we should have. Huh? We definitely charged way <laughs> more. Before yeah. Intel, I'm looking out this window and okay. I need to see like what's going on out here. Do we have an angry question mob mark. outside? What's okay, going the, on? The the, yeah, that's it right there. Here we go. All right, you're using your final action point to check out the window. A dingy window looks dingy. out over the war, <laughs> over dingy. the docks. Dingy. <laughs> a dingy. <laughs> you struggle to see through the dense fog, but you believe you see a small fishing boat out in the bay. As long as the captain of the boat is not in league with the locals, that could be your ticket out of this town. You will need to find a way to contact the boat, gain one clue, then discard the search token. So here's an extra clue. And that is my first turn. So right. if I, I mean, this is my first time playing this game. If you guys followed that. That was a blast of a turn. That yeah, was, that was pretty that, crazy. We that got was, actions going on. Yeah, yeah. go for it. I'm going to lantern up the door, dude. You're going to check the bathroom door. Yeah, maybe we can escape out like the uh, second fire escape. door to your room leads to the hotel back hall and shared bathroom. I don't know about you, but I have zero interest in figuring out what's going on with the Marsh family or with this town. I just want to get out of here. I yeah. mean, that, I'm, I'm that really... is what we're paid for. Yeah, yeah I'm, I'm ready to walk on the It door. is a whole 235. But I forgot. I'm a parapsychologist. I totally want to figure out what's going yeah, on Yeah, you 100% want to figure out what's going on. Well, I'll tell you what's going on here. There's an angry mob outside the door. But the why do they want us? Why don't they want us to escape with You ask secrets? them. I'm not going to ask them. Maybe one of those has oh, a I'll secret. ask him and I'll pull my two guns yeah, that I'll I don't be. have. Um, <laughs> I'll be, I'll be, I'll be, I'll be. Behind your hotel room, a cramped hallway leads to the hotel's public bathroom. Place the bathroom tile. 
An end table sits in the corner of the hall. Put a search token. A worn door leads into the shared hotel bathroom. Opposite the bathroom is a heavy door marked Henderson's. Place an explorer token. You may move one space into the explored era, Sam. I'm, I'm gonna walk in, guys. Sorry. Yeah, go for it. And um, and then you have one more action. This is like an old-fashioned. I'm checking. I'm checking what's up with the Hendersons here. I'm looking for a way out. Okay. Not sorry. for clues right now. Okay. So you try the door, but the store is closed and the lock That's door right. is locked. After a moment, you hear a ver voice to say password. Wait, uh, I don't the know. On the table might have this color. Yeah. Yeah. Right. I Just can't. I'm not. No, I'm not gonna say anything. By a moment. Okay. So you don't say anything. So you didn't actually use your action because you didn't take any you one of cancel. those. Yeah, so you didn't Wait, take just it. Be so like, just a minute, and like grab the thing I'm on the table. I'm gonna be like, ah, 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 what's this on the table? All Is right. it a clue? An end table sits. You dig through the contents of the drawers, look for anything out of place. So what's your, uh, what is your My lower score? My book looking score is three. <laughs> I don't know. Books. You find an old piece of paper at the top of one of the drawers. A strange script on it seems very out of place indeed. Gain the flesh wound spell, then Ooh. discard the search token. You got a, you got a little spell. I got a spell. You got a little spell. <sighs> so, card, so keep it, uh, keep it flipped to forward, and then when you use it, you flip it over, and it'll tell you what you have. You or another investigator within range discard one damage, then flip the card. Let's get out of here. I'm gonna look for a password. I'm gonna move into this room. And I'm gonna check this uh, drawer to the bathroom. It's about a writing newspaper sitting on the tank of the toilet. Place a search token as indicated. <laughs> Guys, a panel on the opposite side of the wall looks like it opens to the other side. I think we should explore it. Ooh, I know it. Every old hotel has an escape route. Yes, it certainly does. I'm so happy it has one. Oh, and I may move the walls. One. Guys, I may move one space into the bathroom too. No. I think avoiding conflict right now is our inner best Yeah, interest. I do not want to fight that guy. Okay, one. That, that wide two, stance is scaring it. me. Yeah, and look at him. He's got big I'm balls. Gonna... Oh, no. A copy of the Innsmouth tri Tribune sits on the toilet tank. It's over 10 years old. You skim through the paper. Using Wait, your eyeballs. 10 year old paper is in here? This yeah. is unusual. That's no not, one yeah. In no one, that's like a 1920s newspaper. Buried on page eight, you find an article about the Marsh family and their sudden inexplicable wealth. Gain the circumstantial evidence token and one clue. Their inexplicable wealth? Yeah. Just out of nowhere they got rich? Yep. Hmm. This is probably a demon. All right, that's turn one. The mythos, mythos phase. phase. You suddenly notice the sound of crickets has stopped, leaving only unnerving silence. No immediate effects. Things are changing. The Let's deep one deeper. hybrid moves two spaces towards the nearest investigator, then attacks the investigator in space with most help. Okay, so he's gonna attempt to break through the door again. So he's hey, gonna move none two. None of us doors. are resisting it? We can't. Okay. It's just there. So he breaks through. Okay, so oh, the, shit. what the do what, what this does is the barricade the barricade is like now gone, but his turn is over. That's why okay. barricades are good. Cause even if he succeeds, his turn's pretty much done. Each investigator must resolve a horror check. Uh, we don't actually see him, so we don't have to do a horror check. End the mythos phase, right? Yeah, end the mythos phase. All right, now it's our turn. Okay. So he pretty much, as we're scrambling in the room, you hear boom, and the bookshelf boom, falls over. And the I, door's like I'm still in this room. I saw it happen. Yeah, so you're watching it. Just, I'm going to check that wall. The panel on the wall looks like it could slide open. You push and slide the panels aside. Secret passage. We did it. We did the it. beach extends across the entire back of the hotel between the two piers. Its sandy mon monotony disrupted only by a forlorn shack. Who writes like this? Place the beach <laughs> tentacle tile. <laughs> All right. An old <laughs> rowboat sits on the beach. Place a search token as indicated. A single panel on the wall seems to lead to the building behind the shack. Place a secret passage as indicated. This is great. Then move your investigator figure in that space. A door off of the beach leads to a room behind the hotel. Place an explore token as indicated. A pier rises at the edge of the beach. Ooh. Whoa, There's so much beach and pier and all that stuff. The back of the building overlooks the sea. On the eastern side of the building, a long dock stretches out into the bay. It's quite a, this map is growing rapidly. A number of rowboats are stacked on the dock. A small boat rental stands on the dock 
but it looks to be closed for the night. Place an explore token. We're not going to rent it. We're just going to take it, right, guys? At the end of the dock, an unlit lantern hangs from one of the supports. That might be a way we can oh, the contact, contact them. Guy. On the so other side of the either. rental dock, an alley curves around the building and out of sight. There's another alley back there. All right, so uh, my turn is over, up, so you right? guys can go. I, never I, can, I can one, two, three. Yeah, check that. Check the shed out. Yeah, Rental shack. See if there's something like, hey! Parkour through here, roll into the sand, <laughs> spin around and look at everything, and then I'm checking the rental shack. Okay, so you're gonna explore it. Exploring it. Someone has left the light on inside the boat rental. You spot the rental logbook open on the table in the middle of the room. You may move one space in the explored area. Oh, I move. I'm freely moving in then. I yeah, guess. you freely go inside. Got it. My turn's gonna be very simple. I'm gonna take myself as fast as my little old legs can carry me <laughs> and run all the way down here. Nice. And that's it. Really? You, you, can't, you can't interact with it? I don't have enough. Uh, so you're here, move. you go yeah. one, two, two one, three. two. Yep. I use uh, cool. all my moves to run. And then, Brandon, it's your turn. All right, so I have, I mean, you guys cleared everything in front of me, so really all I can do is move. I think you should take a full. I mean, there's all this. There's like three eight things here. Yeah, and you have two things here. You kind of have to get to them. You kind of have to take a full move action. Need, yeah, you need to get over there because there's no reason for you to be here unless you're gonna kill this guy. Because he's literally coming in next turn. Yeah, no, I am not. So I'm gonna move one two, right? Yeah. And then I can move another one two. Yeah. So I'm definitely move here and then. Okay, so I'll move there. Go. Cool. Done. All right. All right. Now it is Mythos. Fish. Just gonna kite this guy in. The wind howls and a shiver runs down your spine. A storm is brewing. No immediate huh. effect. You hear the sounds of approaching voices outside the hotel. A small mob of shambling locals is beginning to gather. They shout words of some indecipherable language at the hotel. Something tells you they are here for you. Discard the sight token. South end of the hall. Man. I hate locals, right? <laughs> more, more people from town continue to join the ever-growing mob. Fighting so many people will prove difficult. You had better evade them. Damn. Right. That was already your plan. Perfect. <laughs> the deep one moves two. So that door is open? One, he doesn't do anything else? Two, yeah. Each investigator must resolve a horror check. I mean, I guess I have line of sight on him. No, you don't. You're, you're through a secret hole in the, in the floor. Okay. Oh, I'll, I'll believe that. Yeah, you already, we already went through that. He can't see shit from there. So. You're not even facing him. Screw that guy. May I uh, have team's permission to light that lantern very first thing that's sure. here? So I can buy myself the most amount of time. For this yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Come over. You should see what's out there. See if there's a boat. Yeah, I, I think that's a good idea, Nico. All right. All right, so you're going to hit that? Agatha Crane takes his oil lamp, this beautiful, beautiful light source, decides to share it and spread it in the world. Hit me. Large on the lantern hangs from the creaking support. I can light the lantern only if I have a light source. Sure do. <sighs> what a baller. Light the lantern. Play my light card. I light the lantern. It burns brightly, its light piercing through the fog. Out in the bay, you see a light flash twice. <gasps> if you can signal the boat, you can escape. Become focused. <laughs> then discard okay, the search token. Focus out. Focused. I may discard this card to convert all clues to stars when resolving a test. All right, I'm going to come back and stand here. Well, I'm going to stand in here. I'm gonna take a look out here. I'm gonna take a look and see what else we got this way. Okay. The dark shape of a pier looms be above the beach. Waves lap against shore as you look out behind the building. That's a big ass tile. Tile covered boat in the water there. Yeah. Drunk old man slumped against the crate. Oh, this is a drunk old man. Uh. Here, this guy's got a cane. He is drunk. He's drunk. He's drunk, drunk enough. He's a drunk. This guy's drunk. He's just drunk man. Drunk man. A snack stand sits on the pier. It has been hastily closed up. Hastily. Mm. Mm. He looks very dapper. I know, right? He looks like way too proper to be drunk. On the far side of the building, you see an alley similar to the one you came through. Place a sight token there. Fixed him. <laughs> I don't think we need to check the alley. He's drunk now. I think okay. you and I will go this way while they, they take care of this side of the map. Yeah. Okay, so because if you're coming my way, then, then I'm not going to obviously go back this way. But if you were going that way, then 
I'm gonna go back that way too. Sam's a little spunky athletic girl and he'll keep me safe. Yeah. Us ladies spunky. have to stick together. Yeah, ladies okay. for life. Lady, ladies for life. <laughs> L4L. <laughs> says Jenny. All right, uh, okay. let's do it. Cool. Okay, so in that case, I got two choices. I can either investigate this boat or do this or move. You might as well, because the guy won't be able to reach you next turn anyways. Yeah, so I might as well check something out here. I feel like this boat's not very interesting. But there might be something useful in it. Maybe like a a real weapon, because we don't have any. I checked the boat. We don't have any guns. No real weapons. Okay. No real weapons. I'm going to check the boat. Okay. An old rowboat sits there. It will not be enough to escape in, but you might get you to the fishing boat in the bay. Oh, wow, really? You brush it. What's your eye? How many, how many, what's your observation score? Uh, four, of course. Dang. I mean, that's maxed out. Hopefully you don't just maxed observe out. the boat doesn't work. I spent a lot of time in the graveyard, so. Ooh. You pull up a tra- you pull up a tarp that covers the bottom of the boat to discover a dead body. Shit! Oh, God. Suffer to horror, your oh, no. will negates. So, what's your will score? Will score, four. So, oof. Okay, so you're gonna roll these. I, I, I'm in the, you think I'm a gravekeeper, man. I'm all the time. So you're gonna roll those. Uh, you automatically take two horror, but every success you get on those cancels those out. Yeah. So you want two successes at least. Yes, easy. Did the come. Did easy, are. done. Boom. Boom. Three. You're like, dead body. Spare, dead body. I see dead bodies. Dude, I freaking do, I, I do a little Shakespeare for it. You're like, that, that's what causes. <laughs> I noticed nobody's looking, so I, give them, I just give them a little too beer, not too uh, too beer. You yep. gently look through the dead man's interior coat pockets to discover an FBI badge. This is the body of Agent Brinley. His gun is missing from the holster, oh, but damn. you find a key in his pocket na- labeled number two. Gain the brass key, and then gain one clue. So have another clue. I'm on, really on glad me. I searched it. Well, that's that's for room number two in the hotel. So and I get a key as well, right? Yeah. So you get a damn. key. Damn. All right. What's in the boat? Rental shop. What's your uh, What's your observation oh, score? Is there anything on the Marsh family? Even though I'm literally about to get killed by this rando. Um, three. It's pretty good. Here we go. Let's see if you. Ooh. As you page back through the book, you find entries every single week showing a member of the Marsh family taking a boat out to Devil's Reef. Mm, Each Devil's entry Reef. has an annotation detailing strange and exotic treasures brought back on the return journey incriminating evidence <laughs> and a clue so go ahead and get another clue clue so are they getting dark treasures i think they Dude. found some like sort of dark version of atlantis and they were bringing back these like mar- magical artifacts that made the entire town totally insane hmm. they it maxed out the entire town's insanity meters and that's really incriminating that's super incriminating so that's probably the whole All story right. sorry for spoilers um, highly, highly you can have one more action though. sam oh I'm gonna spin around in a circle and then run out to this boat zone. Okay, boat you zone. have a boat zone. All right, I'm gonna use a move action and go one, two, or this space. And I'm gonna check this dark door with my light source. With the light source. It has to be a scientific light. explanation for why this room is dark. I hold my light high to illuminate the room. The shelves of books that have collected years of dust line the walls. Then place darkness in each space of the library. Dude, we just found a dead FBI agent. <laughs> <laughs> My eyes no, you're, you're scan across shelf after shelf of books. Many of them appear to be about the history of <laughs> in the surrounding area. Perhaps I could uncover information on the Marsh family. Hmm. Always the mind on the mission, guys. Now you see, the thing is, the more evidence we get, the more likely we can defeat whatever crazy, crazy monster caused all this. You may move one into the explorer area. I'm going to get this taken care of real quick here. I've buried a lot of bodies, and I've spoken with them a lot, and go there's shit you can't believe. You yeah. spoke with the dead bodies? If you keep believing in science, he's going to bury one more. for an interview? I'm going to check, you know, check the boat. I'm going to check the boat. Yeah, only if you give me one of those deep voices in our recording. Yeah. <laughs> a rotting waterlogged boat sits slow in the water. Search. Low in the water. Just Perhaps you can use this boat to escape. I have three. Hopefully that's enough. You find something submerged in the water that fills the bottom of the boat. Gain the Elder Sign Pendant common item. I don't want that. I want a shotgun or something. Uh, or a boat. <laughs> or a or yeah, or a boat. <laughs> Mythos phase. A senseless chatter rises, filling not just the air but Rita Young's mind. Rita Young suffers too horror. If you roll will, you get plus one to negate. Dude, I'm gonna do this crazy insanity shot. Here we go. Insanity shot. Insanity shot. 
Uh, uh, my brain, get these voices out Wait, of my head. Wait, you did you chatter? Here, go on. Oh, my head. Get these voices out of there. Oh, Jesus, Atlantis. Just, just <laughs> Atlantis. <laughs>